Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you a Kim Kardashian inspired daytime glam look. I promise I don't think I look like her. It's purely to get back to basics and try a lovely daytime glam look. Now I do start off with a brighter than your skin tone concealer. I don't normally do my makeup like this but I'm doing it to get that shape to the face and high contour look. This is a Maybelline uh, concealer that you can pick up from any drugstore. I then use my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in the shade that isn't showing up which is Syracuse. Now I like to start on my problem area which is my chin and what's going to happen is this slightly darker colour because it's too dark for me is going to mix with the brightness of this light concealer thus giving you the perfect shade for your skin and also to keep that highlight strong. I like to use a dome shaped blending brush for these type of looks. I think something that we need to remember is makeup is so interchangeable. You need to like for example here I love my Real Techniques Beauty Blender or blending sponge. You just need to blend and dab and just keep blending. You can use stippling motions and just you need to blend everywhere. I then go over my skin with a bit of NARS Sheer Glow to give it that extra dewiness. I haven't added highlighter, can you see there is just a beautiful glow already to the skin and that's just with NARS Sheer Glow. So it's about layering. I always try and put a balm on as well. Now for my next step I'm actually going to highlight my under eye. Because we've concealed I can now use this Touche Eclat in shade 3. You need to pump it like 20 times and then it'll provide you with a little bit of coverage. So I keep it on the inner corner, spread it out with the remaining product. I want to highlight my brow but I don't want to look frosty. So just follow the shape of the brow and then I leave it for a moment. I let it set a little bit, spread it around with my finger, put it on the lid so that the shape doesn't show of where we were using the brush and then I like to go ahead and blend that with a fluffy brush. That's also from Real Techniques. So I'm using a mixture of my fingers and the brush you'll notice because they both work together perfectly. So now for a bit of contouring. I'm using a really hard edged brush with my Fit Me Maybelline concealer but this is in a deeper shade. So if you start from the ear and curve the actual contour around your cheek what that's going to do is create a more natural contour rather than a hard edged contour and then I don't add any more product I use what I have for the rest of my face. I don't have much of a jawline like Kim K so what I'm going to be doing is really blending to make a point to my chin and then you just take that foundation brush that you were using before and that acts as a beautiful blend between your foundation and the contour. Blend upwards so from the cheek up don't blend down because you don't want any shadow to come down. And again, keep blending. Always look at what you're doing. I know there isn't always time. Now I take that same beauty sponge and then dab any excess areas. You can take the under eye brush and just do a line to create that edge and it's perfect for photos. Now I'm going to go ahead and add a bit of powder contour and this is essentially going to set some of the contour that we've done. Some products work well together, some don't. I know and have tried these and know that the powder and the cream won't mix but can you see I'm just dabbing. Any harsh line that does appear you just take your beauty sponge and blend the edges away. Because we've got to do the eye look yet yeah, you're going to revisit everything anyway. So I'm using my NARS fully loaded palette in my beautiful new 217 
brush from MAC and I'm just applying a nude colour all over the eyelid. Again, set the previous concealer that we've done and this is all about shaping the eye and preparing it for actual contour within the crease. I do have hooded eyes but I do have a larger space to work with which is quite lucky for me as I love doing eye makeup. And I do just want to point out, this is an interpretation of makeup. It can suit you in many various different ways. So once you've created that base and essentially the concealer is set, you're ready to start working on the hollows of your eyes. So taking a slightly deeper shade, I'm hollowing out my crease. I like to start in the outer corner, tap off the brush and then really work one colour in and keep going back and comparing the two. Fallout we can deal with later but I do like to pick up some as we go along. So a more skin tone colour, I'm using the same brush because I've wiped it off and I'm deepening that crease because it's all going to come together and look really flawless. I do feel that this colour is darker than what Kim's picture is but there's lighting and then there's obviously different skin tones that we have. Oh this uh, this NARS Orgasm highlighter palette is insanely beautiful. So I can see on her picture that she's got a lighter in a corner so I've chosen to do a cream product on top again and NARS and cream products and powder mix perfectly just to open up the eye and give that glow. So now I'm going to use two shades, a neutral and a warm shade and create that lovely shadow underneath which is a light smoke. You definitely need this to finish off the look in that it sort of rounds off the eye. Now eyeliner is so easy if you just use these steps. A firm tipped brush, this one's from Ico, and just slant as your eye shape follows. Can you see I'm sort of dotting or stamping? Turn the pen on itself and let the nib do the work. And there's your wing. I did put a little bit of an extra tip in the inner corner because my eyes aren't almond or diamond shape like Kim's. And can you see I always step back. I'm having a look where it's at. You don't have to create the line straight away. Always shake your pen if it's drying. It is a brand new one though. Can you see small dabs or dots? And I went wrong because uh, Max wakes up my son. In a moment, I've got the monitor on in the side. And um, all you do is just use your ring finger or a clean finger and just pull it away. You don't have to panic that your um, eyeliner has gone wrong. This is years of practice, so don't worry if it's not as quick. See, I've gone wrong there because Max is weak. So keep checking what you're doing, smooth motions and follow the shape of your eye naturally. So as I said, Max woke up and he came to join me. Don't worry, he's not on his own. Um, my husband's there, but he doesn't want to be in the video, which is understandable. So now I'm going back with my Dior palette and I'm, oh, and my NARS palette. And I'm just taking a completely nude color and blending the existing color to just make it seamless. I got these amazing eyelash curlers from Essence and they actually did a really good job. Since I had my lashes done, my lashes haven't been the same. They're growing rather straight because some of them fell out. My trusted Climax Mascara by NARS. I absolutely love this to build fibers on my lashes. And note, I'm using the point of the mascara wand to fan out the lashes. With any makeup, if you've had it on for a while whilst you're doing a glam look, you must touch up your under eyes because it's going to revisit the brightness. 
and I do like a second layer of mascara. This is another Essence mascara. Now here I'm just showing that Kim's put a cream colour in her eye, her waterline. So I was preparing my waterline with a cotton bud to remove any mascara that's gone up there. And now just again blending the sections that I've outlined. And I do like to just go underneath my contour to highlight it a little bit more. And again, just revisiting brushes that we've used. This is the Gimme Brow. Brows are something I'm working on at the moment because they're so dark and thick. I will work out a solution. All you need is a nude coloured eye pencil. White if you prefer it, but with me being of an olive skin tone, cream looks more natural and my eyes look more open. And already you can see the light is bouncing from there to my eyes. And always revisit again with your mascara on the bottom lashes to bring the eye back. I've applied a set of Ardell Wispies to give the look more elegance. And now I'm using my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. I forgot how much I love this. I went and repurchased it. It's the perfect warmth for my skin. And I'm adding depth and contour to my hairline and nose. We will get into cream contour fully for the face. However, I like to use powder and then just dab the remaining bits to blend them out. So lips. I love my Spice Liner from MAC and I actually go ahead and use a Chanel and NARS combo. I will list the products down below. I think my Chanel is a Rouge Extreme. Yes, it is a beautiful 90s shade. Um, the lighting is changing a little bit because I do go and see to Max when he doesn't want his dad. Now I'm using NARS Rachel in the middle of my lips to get, bring them a more of a pout. Again, revisiting my contour, just touching up the final bits, adding a few more touch-ups to the lower lash line. And I think, yes, I'm going to add my awesome co uh, cream highlight. This is the final look, guys. Uh, please bear with me. I'm trying really hard to make some good quality videos. Um, I did use this translucent powder. That's it. My next video is going to be on baking. Believe it or not, I baked for the first time in this video and I wanted to add a bit of depth with gloss. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and um, stay tuned for more. Please like, comment and subscribe. Any tips, any criticisms, just let me know.